Hello everyone, this is Pietro and it's time for a new presentation tip. Roll the intro. We all know the coronavirus pandemic basically froze almost every type of live event with a live audience. And even today, 18 months in where large-scale vaccination campaigns and continuous testing should allow a return to live events, these are still, let's say, a bit problematic. On the other hand, this pandemic acted and still acts as a technology accelerator too, especially when it comes to video conferencing. But in these 18 months, I have seen a lot of very, very bad looking and bad sounding presentations or video conference attendees. And therefore, I welcome you all to my tip number eight, do this when you present from home. The following tips apply not only to presentations or speeches or keynotes from home, but also to video conferences in general. And therefore, I find this video particularly useful for everybody. Because, come on, you can't be the presenter of a prestigious digital event, you can't give an important speech, or you just can't have a serious video conference while looking and sounding like this. It just doesn't work. So let's see together what we can do to look and sound in the best possible way. Number one, put the camera at eye level. The camera should be at the same level as your eyes or slightly above. In any case, avoid an angle from below, which unfortunately is quite frequent, especially when you use your laptop's internal camera. Put it on a table in front of you on top of some books or something to bring it at an appropriate height. Number two, reduce the space between your head and the top of the screen. Try to place yourselves in the center of the screen with the top of your head almost touching the top of the screen. And don't be too close to the camera, make sure that at least your shoulders and your upper chest are visible. Number three, lights should always be in front of you and never behind you. With the light source behind you, your face gets too dark. With the light in front of you, you're perfect. Number four, keep eye contact. These can admittingly be a bit tricky as we are constantly tempted to look at the screen where all the action happens instead of into the camera. A cool trick to overcome this temptation is to stick a nice or funny face around the camera lens, like my little monster here, for example. Number five, make sure you're inside a quiet place. Audio quality is at least as important as video quality, so make sure to put yourselves into a silent place with as little reverberation as possible. Number six, check your appearance. One of the best parts of working from home is getting to wear sweatshirts and sweatpants all day long. But this might not be the right outfit for a video call. Dress how you would for an in-person meeting. And try to avoid being dressed in pure white or pure black or in another extreme color. Number seven, check your background. Before starting, use your camera to check what's visible in your background. And if necessary, clean up the area around you. Otherwise, you can use one of those very nice virtual backgrounds provided by the various video conference apps. Number eight, check your posture. If you are sitting, sit on the edge of your chair with your upper body straight and your shoulders relaxed. Leaning back looks like slouching. Number nine, be aware of inevitable technology-related delays. Anyone who has made video calls knows this phenomenon. Most of the times, It takes a moment until the person on the other side reacts. So just be aware of that and give it a second before you repeat your question or ask your interlocutor if he has heard you. Number 10, consider investing in your equipment. If you apply all my advice but are still not happy with the result, that it might be because of your equipment. More often than not, built-in cameras and microphones do not provide a satisfying quality. If that's the case, a quick Google search will give you tons of examples of equipment like cameras, microphones, lights, tripods and so on. And that was tip number eight. Do this if you present from home or if you have to attend an important video conference or if you have to give a speech and so far 
and so on. I would like to know if you have more or maybe other tricks to look and sound good in your video conferences. Let me know in the comments below. I really hope that you found these tips useful and if you did then please like and share them with others. And should you prefer to hire a professional presenter who is able to provide good video and audio quality too, well then, here's what I have to offer. We will address today's topics in a lot and then see the beschleunigung entwicklungsprozess. We record the nostri hashtag per i vostri contributi di biologia completamente nuova e revolutionaria. Cette année nous avons un événement hybride. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.